Welcome to a brand new series called Until Dawn. Guys, I've been watching this game. I've been watching the progress. With Originally, this game was meant to be released on the PlayStation 3, and they pushed it back to the PlayStation 4. It's basically like playing a horror movie. Um, all your actions have consequences. Some people, the decisions you make decide who dies and who doesn't and all that great stuff. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play, and it's going to be amazing. But first, we're going to turn on subtitles because uh, we always want that. Everything else is fine. Let's do it. New story. The butterfly effect. Oh, this is spooky already. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. Something else I forgot, but I didn't read the rest of it. Basically, I don't know if they're going to tell the story. Okay, wait, I'm going to keep reading. The smallest decision can dramatically... Okay. <laughs> I can't finish reading these senses. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Okay, good. They're telling you all, all that you need to know. Your story is one of many possibilities. This game was designed to have multiple playthroughs. I'm only going to play through it once. Choose your actions carefully. Um, and if you guys like it, pick up the game and play through it yourselves in multiple ways. Oh, there's the cabin. Typical horror movie scenario. Oh boy. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little That's bit Hayden Penetier, by the way. Her she voice. Deserves it. it is not her fault. This is this one. Sam. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. He is not a thing, a possession. He is not a piece of me. Oh gosh, I'm so I've been really into partly because my girlfriend's really into uh, horror movies, so I've been watching a lot of horror movies and I enjoy them Hannah! quite a bit. So this is exciting <laughs> for me. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is prank time. She's Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. How you doing? Is how I imagine that conversation would go. Oh, man. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, my. Oh, I'm controlling her. Okay, what can I do and what can't I do? I can control the camera a little bit. Really slowly. It sort of like reminds me of like a Resident Evil style. Oh yeah, it totally is. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wait, did I see something flashing over here? There's something. Oh, X. Huh. Why does it say... Why did it say left stick over here? After I hit X, it had like a left stick logo. See right there. Oh, I guess it's just to make you move. That's kind of weird. Oh, nice fireplace. So are the things you can pick up uh, shiny things? Tutorial, right? So use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, am I seeing... A glint over here. Right, let me see. Let's go over here again. Do we see any sort of glinting, guys? This game is going to scare the crap out of me. I just know it. I go th oh, there's a glint. 
tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. What's it say? Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Ah, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. <laughs> Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Okay, so if I let oh go. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Okay, so you, okay, you can do it again. Yeah. Intervention time. All right, let's see here. Hmm, that was a beard scratch. Did you guys hear it? Hey, let's go into. I don't think there's anything else over there. Let's go into the living room here. Let's see if maybe can we go around this corner? Yeah, we can. I don't see anything. The graphics look really nice, actually. Really, really nice. Anything over here? Look at her face! Hi! How you guys doing? Can we go upstairs? That thing is still shimmering. Does it just mean we can pick it up multiple times, or is there something that I missed? No. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, how about over here? Is there anything this way? No, it's just a wall. Can we, like, punch this guy in the back of the head? Now, let's go towards this door. Can we go towards this door? Oh, yes, we can. I got your note. Glad you can make it. <laughs> that smile. Look at him! <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little, you know... Making out and see where it goes from there. Good idea. Oh, hell yeah. Well, there better not be nudity. I don't want to. Stay here, Cheryl. What? Oh, my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all good. Oh, just a stupid prank. Uh, wow, that was kind of mean of them. You guys are jerks. I Hannah? agree. Sam, Hayden Penetier, voice, lady. She's running outside. Use the right stick to choose. To choose. Wake Josh or find others. Wake Josh. Josh, get up! Josh. Josh. Fuck. That didn't work at all. So she went to find the others anyway. There's someone outside. Uh oh, that means I, I probably wasted a little time trying to wake Josh. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It was a mean prank. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, square. Safe. Fast. Uh, let's go the fast route. Yeah, let's go the fast route. Triangle. Oh, what now? Follow noise or follow footprints? Uh, we'll follow the footprints. Oh gosh, it might not be her footprints though, but it could not be the noise. She's... What? Don't die on me, Beth. Don't you die on me. Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, slide to unlock. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, status update. Hannah! You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Oh, man, that's awesome. Is that, what is that, a crow? That's some birds. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful here. 
Do we see any sort of tracks anywhere? No. Huh. Let's just go like that. Let's walk this way. Oh! God, come on! Um, tutorial, hold L1 to walk faster. Okay. Oh, that's cool. She, like, picks up her stride. It's like a nice Hello? fluid motion. That's Hello? good. X. Huh. What is that? Whoa, a death totem. Wait, hold on, push X again. Grab it, turn it over, R1. Mystery man, butterfly effect, totems, okay. The events of the past play, totem prophecies, black death, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece fore foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. So we can inspect it. Replay. How does that look like I fall on a rock? Oh, so wait, does this help me avoid my death? So maybe we're going to try to avoid climbing down in certain places. Now, what is the butterfly effect? Okay, we haven't found any of those. And mystery, man. Clues. Oh, my God. This is going to be fun. 1952. The twins. Character info. Oh, there we go. Beth. Honest, charitable. Relationship status. Hannah is like her best friend. Josh is pretty close. Sam is pretty close. Okay, and totems again. That's really cool. Oh, the events of the past. Oh, so we gotta, we gotta like fill in the whole story with these totems because you push play and it shows you that little bit. Okay, cool. I got this. I guess I can't pick it up or anything, right? Like you could just pick up the. I want to see the totem again to see if I have to like. Yeah, it's there, so we don't have to like. Pick it up. We just gotta keep walking. Now wait a minute. Whose footprints are these? Are these mine? Oh crap! I'm leaving footprints. This, that's nice. Look at that. Awesome. Oh boy. Yeah, let's stay away from rocks. <gasps> Don't do that to me, game. All oh, the angles are so awesome. <laughs> this game so far, I'm really impressed with it. What is that? What the hell was that? Right? Run. Step your step your step game up. Oh, what is that in front of me? Hannah. Oh, it's her. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here. Take my coat. I'm such oh. an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh no. Hannah? Run, ladies, run. Uh oh. She dropped her phone. Oh, no, 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 this is where they're going to fall down. And then... No, 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 no there's got to be another option.
What in the world? Let go or drop Hannah. Uh, drop Hannah. No, let go. Let go. Yep, I'm dead. Are they both dead? Did they both die? Oh my god. I didn't want to drop Hannah. That would be so mean. The analyst. Oh, so is that like the end of their story now or something? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move oh. forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. So here's what I think happened. That little story that we just played happened a year ago because he said ten, last year, last last winter or something. I think. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so. So, how did that picture make you feel? Hmm. To be honest. How does it make me feel? It makes me happy. I feel uneasy. I feel uneasy because of the scarecrow. Okay. Kind of Honestly, creeps me out a little bit. Good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? What do you think it is? The scarecrow. It's the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Yeah, I think so. I think I would. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Well, I'd be scared. I don't want to deal with that. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? I'm mm -hmm. could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty. Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. This guy is creepy as fudge. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. I don't like him.